The Bible says don't go outside of what's written because when you go outside of what's written, that's when you fall prey to the miseducation of the church. I was just talking to some people of mine yesterday I hadn't saw in a while and they was telling me how they finally left their church and they're not looking forward to going to a church anymore. You know, they just want to go visit and, you know, just do the will of God for their lives. And so <laughs> I was just laughing because I've been on that tip for like three or four years. And you know, when you understand and become aware of the deceptions and the, um, the schemes and the devices of the enemy and the way things are set up to really get you off course, you no longer want to be associated with, you know, anything that will take you farther away from something you trying to get close to and want to allow to take precedence in your life and then also become anchored in that, which is the Lord. And, you know, because it's like once you start really opening up your eyes, you really recognize how deceitful people are. Like the Bible says, being deceived and deceiving is what a lot of these so-called leaders are doing, you know, because they've been deceived and misled and used and abused, you know, because a lot of times we get off course, you know, thinking, oh, I just want to go somewhere and serve when all actuality, you just going somewhere to be used. So if you want to go somewhere and be served, there's a whole world out here that's yearning for change and to see the light of those who are so called and I mean chosen to bear the light, the light bears, you know, because there's so many people professing something, but living totally opposite of what they're professing. I was at a function the other day and it was a guy, he just, oh, he was super saved. You know what I mean? You, you, you see him at all the churches, but when I say super saved, he was doing all the right things, singing all the songs and, you know, but as I was watching him, you know, his life didn't bear the fruit of what he was, um, you know, so-called exemplifying. And that's the thing. The Bible says go into the earth and bear much fruit, not go out and look like you bear fruit, but bear fruit. Because that's why people are no longer wanting to come to church or go to church. And what makes it so sad, they have put God in this place as if he's you know, causing a great separation and doing this to people when, it, when it's actually, actually man. And so that's the miseducation of the church today, which we need to wake up and recognize. You know, then they talk about that, oh, don't forsake the fellowship. Uh, what they say, don't forsake to assemble yourself and fellowship with other people. But the Bible says where two or three are gathered together, there I will be in the midst. And I've grown more in the privacy of my home than I have ever grown at church. You know, not, you know, when I first came to Christ, you know, I was growing and started learning till I started seeing what was really going on. How once I no longer called the pastor and, you know, sought help from him because I, I started learning how to um, depend on God. And so once that happened, he started getting upset because I wasn't calling on him no more. I'm like, ain't this what I'm supposed to do? Grow? And that's another thing, the miseducation of church where people have fallen prey and become um, agents of Satan is that they think that they should stay in the same church that they was raised in as a child. You know, nine times out of 10, mama and grandmama them ain't getting what God intended for them to have in that church. They just there skinning and grinning every Sunday. Bearing no fruit, but they there singing and lying right before the, the congregation, you know, up there singing, oh, I love Jesus every day down in my spirit so I can pray. Lying. Oh, there's another one right here. Withholding nothing. <laughs> I can't even do it without laughing because there's a bunch of foolishness that's going on because of the miseducation of church. You know, I would advise anybody that's just coming to Christ you know, to get somewhere and be planted and get grounded and rooted in the things of God. Then once you start waking up and recognizing, okay, this place is no longer for me. Then you move on to somewhere else. Like one of my homies, Nook said, he said, you would never recognize how much more there is 
to life in Christ until you go to another church. You know, like the Jesus, the Bible says the word of God is not changed. The miseducation of church allowed cause you to, you to be changed to somewhere that's no longer benefiting you or your life or Christ. You know, because it's like that's why a lot of these so-called leaders don't want you to visit no church because they know you're going to go somewhere and recognize the real truth and recognize them and be gone. And so they want you to stay up under that ignorant doctrine that they was raised up under, which is actually. Um basically the the way of the slave teaching teachings you know to make you happy in bondage and allowing them to um to administer their dysfunction and abuse upon you you know so wake up people you know we can, we need to be educated and this is the thing right here too that that really gets under my skin you know people oh don't talk about nobody oh so don't talk about the tr the truth i'm not talking about no one pastor. I mean, even though I can name some names, and some of y'all gonna be shocked, and because some is some of the, the, the uh, leaders y'all sitting up, excuse me, so-called leaders y'all sitting up under and worshiping. But I'm not gonna do that. But anytime you speaking the truth, it's the truth. So don't be afraid to speak the truth, regardless of who it may hurt. I'm not saying you saying it to hurt somebody, but you know when people are being awakened. And their eyes are being open. It hurts them to see the truth and somebody they once loved and cared for and looked up to as being the person that was actually doing more harm to them than the streets and drugs and alcohol was. So wake up, people, and be aware of the miseducation of church. Peace.